And we're back with every GTA clothing glitch that is still working to this day. I was only able to post twice this month because I've been working on this video for so long. So I'll never make you guys watch a full video like this. So there's timestamps for every single glitch. Let me tell you the timestamps alone took me hours to do. So I'd appreciate if you could go and leave a like on this video. We hit 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So this is the first of the 200k specials I want to post. Hopefully I can get out tomorrow. I will have the face reveal if you guys are interested in that. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel because I will be trying to get that out Sunday or tomorrow, probably at 12 o'clock Eastern Time. Anyway, if you guys can subscribe, let's keep going. Let's continue the flow going. We hit 100k, but we can't get satisfied. We can't stop there. But I just want to quickly give a quick message to all you guys that did subscribe. You guys are the best. You guys helped my dreams come true. And you guys are just absolutely amazing people. And I honestly love all you guys. Now let's get into the video. Again, there will be timestamps in the description or on the pinned comment. Or you guys can just go and click those and do whatever glitch that you want. There's so many clothing glitches in this video, so there's literally one for everyone. So if you guys can't find one you like, then you like every single clothing glitch. Then you don't like every single clothing that's in the game so hopefully everyone you guys will be leaving with the video subscribe if you can let's continue going and let's get into the first glitch the best thing about this is on um, both male and female there's two different glitches but i'll be showing you guys both of them and they tie in together so to start you want to go and come to the mask store after you come to the master you want to go and put on any, any outfit that has like a hoodie on so just like this a plain hoodie after you do that you want to put last location on so just head down to spawn location put that on and then once you go and complete that as well, go to body armor, head down to show armor, and make sure you go and put the black armor on called standard armor. What are these guys doing ruining my vid? Why are these guys coming up to me? What did I do? Take a selfie of them? And they're able to get dropped off. If you guys don't subscribe to the channel, you end up like these guys. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. But again, put last location on, go and put standard armor. It's this black one right here. And just go and have a plain hoodie on under. After you went and done this, you want to again make sure you're at the mask store. Then we're going to go and swap character. This is not the transfer glitch, so you do not lose all your outfits. Don't worry. I would not be doing this on my main account with every colored jogger if I lost all my outfits. So trust me on this one. You do swap character, but you don't lose any outfits. So you want to do once you swap character is you want to go and start editing character number two. You could it needs to be a female character again, not the transfer glitch. But so if you guys already have one though, it, it works fine. But if you guys don't have one, just go and make one. That's what I'm gonna be doing real quick. Just make sure it's a female and just go and save and continue. Once you do this, it's gonna go and put you into the new online session. You want to go and take your picture first and do what she says on screen as it says subscribe. Okay, I said it way too much already. I won't say it for the rest. No, I'll say it a few more times, don't worry. Once you get in, you guys will see a few more different cutscenes. And this takes a while since GTA decides to add about 10 million of these. So you just want to go and wait through these. You know, first you'll get the new, what is this called? Night Locker? Something like that. Music Locker. So you'll go and see that cutscene, and then you'll go and spawn outside the casino. If you already have progress on your female, just go and head to where the casino is, and you just go and head inside. If you don't have progress on it, you will see another cutscene letting you know the tutorial of the casino, even though we've already seen this 300 million times. So once again, we're just going to go and talk to this guy, Tom Connors. He's going to go and show us around the casino. This has nothing to do with the glitch. All we need here is we got to go and get a certain sweater, so that's why we got to come here. So you will need, I think, 7,000 on this female. So if you had the option to transfer your money, of course, you do want to do that. So to go and get the money, all you want to do is go and head over to the cashier. And especially if you're on a new character, you'll see you have zero chips. So you're able to take out 20,000 a day. So just go and max that out and take out 20K. You only do need 7,000 for it. You could also take your visitor bonus and make 21. So just go and take this out and we're going to go and head over to where you buy the clothes. This will only work with one certain type of sweater, that's why we gotta come to the casino. But don't worry, this is, like I said at the beginning, it ties in. I know I'm on the female character right now, but even if you're a guy, like if you want to do this for the guy character, you still gotta watch this part because this is necessary to go and transfer it over to the male. But it isn't the transfer glitch. It's hard to explain, but you guys will see what I mean if you continue watching the whole video. After you do this, all you want to do is go and head over to where you'd buy the t-shirts. We're going to go and head down to sweaters. And we're going to buy the first one. Again, it's 7,000 chips. It's this pink purple flower thing right here. After you go and buy that, we're just going to go and head to the nearest clothes store. I'll see you guys once we're there. 
Once we get over to the closer, just make a beeline over to the accessory section because we do need to buy some race gloves. Again, this whole thing is very cheap. There's not much you gotta buy. I don't know how much you, uh, these race gloves are actually free. <laughs> now that I remember. So once you go to gloves, I think it's number 50 out of 72. So just go and scroll down there. It might always be in a different like number for you guys. So just go until you see the one with the check mark already that you already have bought. So for me, as number 50, these gloves right here, these big ones, the race suit gloves. So I go and put those on. I guess this is a race, race suit gloves glitch as well, so that's pretty cool. After you do this, go to inventory, and you want to go and put that same black body armor, the standard one, that you had on before on your male character. So then all we want to do is go and head to the ammunition, and once we're there, we're going to go and finally get the female duffel bags. Again, if you're still, if you want the duffel bags on your male character, you need to do this step as well because it will go and you'll go and do another glitch to go transfer it over. You guys will see if you keep watching. So once again, you just want to go up to the front desk. We're going to go and head over to where you buy the parachutes. Now when you go and head down to parachute bags, you could go and see right just like that, you could go and actually buy duffel bags. It's not supposed to be a thing. They're supposed to be just normal parachutes. But since we did all that glitch before, you're able to actually go and buy any one of these colors or any one of these styles as long as you have the classic shoot bag on. So I'm going to go and buy all of them. Of course, it doesn't work with any of the country bags, but it works with all the new ones that they added. So after you go and buy all of those, all you want to do is go and click parachute on. You can go and flick through all the different styles that you've bought. So for the female portion, this is done now. So this is how you get them on your female character. But now we got to transfer them over to the male. So go and select whatever one that you want on. So I don't want this green one. I'm going to go and switch over to the red because I think it'll look best with my outfit. So go and switch. All you want to do is go head back to parachutes. And then you just want to go and flick through where you'd go and do the bag. I accidentally clicked primary, which messed it up for a second. So if you go and mess it up for a second, all you want to do is go flick parachute back on. And then you can go and flick through. So I'm going to go and get this red spot one I think is the coolest. It depends whatever your outfit is. This pink one will look good with my pink joggers. But I'm going to get the red one for now. I could always come back and do this again for another color. After we go and pick whatever one that we want to go and transfer over to the male character, we're going to go and head on to online and then click swap character. Once again, please subscribe to the channel because it helps out a lot, especially if you just want this for the female character. And if you get this helps you out in any way. If this helps you get duffel bags, I think you should subscribe. It's an even trade. But then we're going to go and swap the character over to the main. I got to stress this point. You do not lose your outfits. I got to keep saying it because I know I'll get 10 million comments saying, do you lose all your outfits? And I, even though I said it 14 times in this video. So after we go and click the male character, we're going to go and take us back into online. Since we're on a last location, all we're going to do is spawn beside the mask store. Once you start in, this is the final stretch of the video. All we're going to do is go and call in our mechanic. So what you want here is to call in a helicopter, your oppressor, a deluxo, any flying vehicle that allows you to jump off and pull out a parachute. We're going to need to pull a parachute a few times so it works best with like the oppressor or the deluxo because if it's a helicopter it'll end up blowing up and you're going to have to keep calling in different ones. But if you don't have the luxury of having one of these vehicles, a helicopter will work just fine. So what you want to do from here is, again, I called in my MK2, so I'm just going to go and hop on that. This part is very simple, but the next step after this one can get a bit difficult for some of you guys, but I know for a fact that all you guys will be able to get this eventually. Once again, we're just going to go and fly over to our MK2. Once you get on the oppressor, all you want to do is fly in the sky for a good 5 seconds, and then we're just going to go and jump off. So I'm just going to jump on the oppressor, I'm going to go click fly into the sky, just a good 5-10 seconds and then all you want to do is click triangle to jump off. Make sure you're high enough that you're able to put your parachute without dying. Do not die on this step. Once you put your parachute, as you guys can see, it switches to the duffel bag on your back. Just go and land this. This glitch is not done yet because this will not let you save it. So it, the, right now you have the duffel bag on, which is cool, but if you want to actually go and save it, you got to continue watching. So after this, if you go, just like any other duffel bag, if you go over to the clothes store or a mask store, it's going to tell you you're not allowed to do it. What you want to do here, though, I forgot to say, is head over to inventory and take off that body armor. So you had the black body armor on standard, you just want to go and flick that off. Now, again, we got to go and save this. So, uh, like I was ta just talking about, if you go and head over to the mask store, it's actually going to tell you you're not able to access anything. If you head over to a clothes store, it's going to say you're not wanted in the clothes store with that accessory on or whatever. So all we want to do is we're going to fly in the sky and we're going to do a little, little glitch that's not too hard to do, but it can take a few tries. This is just to show you guys you're not able to access. 
So once again, you're gonna head onto your oppressor, your deluxo, your helicopter, whatever flying vehicle that allows you to pull a parachute. We're gonna go fly as high as we can into the sky, and we're gonna go and glitch it so we're able to access the master. If you guys watch my videos for a while, I'm sure you guys will know this because I've shown it in other duffel bay glitches in the past, which you guys go check out by clicking that tag top right, and I'll have an updated one probably next Saturday. So once again, I'm gonna go and fly into the sky. I'm gonna go and head over to where a good spot is so I can deploy my parachute hat and have enough time to go and land exactly at the mass floor. So we're gonna go and land right in front of it as close as we can. We're gonna spam right on the D-pad to access it. So I'm spamming right in the D-pad, spamming right in the D-pad and trying to land as close as possible. Again, spam, 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 and you'll actually be able to access it before you take the parachute off. Once you access it, you've completed the glitch. That part might take you guys a few tries. Because I know on my first time a while back it took me a few tries, but now I, I got it down. So then just go and save this outfit. Once you're done saving it, you can walk away. Your guy will throw the parachute on the floor. If you go and click your saved outfit, bang, we got the parachute on. And just like I was saying before, it's not like the black one where you can't switch outfits. You could go and switch through all your outfits. And like I was saying, you don't lose them. So what you're going to want to do is you or your friend is going to need to go over to the arcade. And you want to start the big con approach. I know it kind of sucks. Not everyone's going to be able to do this. But I'm pretty sure it's the only way of getting it without doing the transfer glitch. And also, you got to go to the prep board. And then you want to start the current mission hack device the actual job does not take long and is really easy to do but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the only way of getting it so what you want to do is you're just gonna go and head over to the job and you're just gonna follow it so take out the agents you could be doing this with friends you guys all get it so just go take out all these guys and we're gonna go and collect the badge off of one of them I forgot to mention this one uh, does not make you lose all your outfits so you do get to keep all your outfits and do it that's why I want to share it I haven't posted transfer glitch in a while do you guys want me to bring them back I could post one this weekend if you guys want to see it or not let me know in the comments right away so again just take out all these guys and then just go search one of the agents for a security pass you're probably gonna have these other people shooting at you as well but all you want to do is go and head up to one of them you want to go click right on the d-pad to search your character will go and pick up the badge off him and you'll notice he starts to wear it so right here i go pick it up i turn around and it starts to wear it so from here you could go to the clothes store but it's going to go and tell you that the clothing is closed which i'll show you guys anyway but you'll notice your guy has a suit on or whatever you're wearing and he has the fib badge so if you go to any clothes store it says bingo clothing is closed so what you want to do you got to go and head over to the nearest ammo nation because this allows you to go in we're going to go and head over to this t-shirt rack right here and you're just going to go and save this outfit under anything so whatever your current outfit was on before is the one you'll be getting the fib badge on so after you go and save it all you want to do is go and finish the job so just go ahead call your friends up go and finish it and once you're done it's going to take the badge off but i'll show you guys how to put it back on so once again just go finish the heist job or whatever it is the heist prep and once you're done it's going to go and you'll be wearing your old outfit but you'll notice you don't have the fib badge on so that's why we had to go and save it at the ammo nation before because now we're just able to go and head over to style and then we're going to go and put on that outfit right away you might want to leave your ceo or whatever but it doesn't really matter all you want to do is go over to style head over to the fib or whatever you saved it under go click x to put that on and that's it you gotta go and have that on that certain outfit forever i could try to find a way to transfer to different outfits let me know if you guys want to see that this one's probably gonna be the easiest invisible arm glitch you'll ever find so what you need for this is either that cop outfit a paramedic outfit or one more trash man outfit if you guys want to see how to get the cop outfit i posted a few days ago so i'll have a link to it in my description or there's a tag up for it as well so you can either have the paramedic, the cop, or if you guys go and head down to Diamond Casino Heist, you could go and get this, the pickup outfit, and it works with this as well. Since I have it locked, I won't be able to show it on that. But for this glitch, since it's new, I'll be using the cop outfit because that's like sick. So again, if you guys need to go check that out, there's a link in my description, or you guys could go see. It's I posted two days ago. And then from here, all you got to do, once you're wearing the outfit, head down to Overcoat Blazers and select No Top. And you'll have invisible arms forever. This legit does stick. You do lose the cop belt on it. So if you guys care about that, then unfortunately that's what you lose. But you guys will legit have this forever. And this is like one of the only ones where it's like fully invisible. And it's just like, it'll, it'll never go away. You can go in cars, you can do whatever you want. It legit takes 30 seconds to do. But that's going to be glitch one down. If you guys do any of these glitches, please trade back the subscription. I think that's an even trade. But now let's get to the next one. 
I'll continue on the theme of invisible arms, so this one's going to be another invisible arms glitch. This is for the male as well. So what you got to do is go and head down to scuba suits. This one's a bit more complicated, but you still do get the invisible arms at the end of the day. So if you guys couldn't get the first one, you guys could definitely get this one because there's less requirements. After you go and get a scuba suit, make sure you go and save this in one of your slots. Then go and just put on a bodysuit. You don't need to save the bodysuit or anything, it just needs to be saved. From here, we're going to go and find a telescope on the beach. You could do this in your apartment as well, but since we'll be going to the beach after anyway, it just makes it easier. Then we got to do a telescope glitch. So run by a telescope, spam right in the D-pad. From here, hold the touchpad, go to style, and then go and select that outfit that you just saved. Not police, but no arms. Once you select the scuba outfit, just walk away and they'll merge like this. From here, you want to go and head over to the mask store, which is just down the road. Once you get to the master, just head over to where you can see the t-shirts. From here we're going to go to vest and we can buy one of two. This Either one will give you a different kind of style later. So you can either buy these two that are on screen right now. The light blue or the dark blue. I'll be going to dark blue, but the light blue works as well. From here you just want to go and head down to where those jet skis are. So near the dock at the bottom of the beach. So just go and fly down here. This is why I recommend going to the beach because since you do need three steps here anyway, you might as well instead of flying around the whole map all the time. Once you head down here, you just go into the water and start swimming. After this, you just want to jump on top of the dock and then take the easy way out. You'll notice you still have invisible arms right here. Once you load in, you'll be wearing this right here, it's kind of weird standard pants and you're going to have this ripped shirt with your crew color and then the invisible arms. From here you could go and make certain edits, you can't fully edit it, but they are. you can switch the pants, you can switch the shoes, you can put masks and hat on, stuff like that. Just with the top, there's limited edits, so I'll show you guys me editing it right now. So this is my final edit that I went with, it's not crazy, I made much nicer ones in the past, I just threw this up in 2 seconds. That's another one down, let's get into the next one. Alright, so for the next one, it's not going to be invisible arms, but it's going to be invisible torso for the female. Since I never post female glitches, you guys always ask for them. I decided to throw this one in here, because it fits the theme, and it wouldn't be enough to make a whole separate video on. So let's get into So you want to go onto your female character, then you're just going to go and scroll down until you go and find these tops right here. So just scroll down to vest, and any of these ones work. So it's going to be like a rip shirt and invisible torso, so it's actually really cool. Plus you guys always ask for female glitches, and this is probably like the first one I've ever shown. So you just want to go and buy any one that you'd want the rip shirt of. From here, all we got to do is head over to shirts, which is going to be near the top. So let's go and scroll up to here. And then there's going to be a certain style under the sh shirt section, right here. And you'll notice we get the like invisible torso and then like the ripped arms on the side and you could go and pick any style of these and they will stick forever and it's pretty cool you can make some sick mod outfits with it i didn't make anything yet with it as you guys see I have these ugly camo pants on and stuff but if you guys are still watching this point make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and if you guys want to see more female glitches just comment down below because I, you guys always ask for them and i'm finally pulling through for you guys you know what i'm saying that's another glitch down let's get into the next and final one Okay, so for the last one, it isn't great because it doesn't stick, but it is going to be a fully invisible arms glitch. You might be like, it doesn't stick, why would I do this? I don't know. It's it, I'm, it's useful for like thumbnails and stuff, and since I'm showing almost every invisible like body part glitch, I want to put this one in as well. So it only lasts for about like two minutes, and then it'll disappear. So you could save the outfit and keep reapplying if you guys want to try that. But I, you could just use it for thumbnails or whatever. So just go and head down to the hoodies and go and buy the gray baggy hoodie and I know before you guys comment why would you need a thumbnail I don't know man just just go along with it you know what I'm saying after you put this gray baggy hoodie on go to accessories head over to gloves and flick one to the right so whatever you'll have onto the right side then you're just gonna go up to right wrist wow it's hard to say and go one to the right again it'll put a black T on then go back over to none so back to the left and there you go you got invisible arms and I don't know, this is pretty cool. It lasts about two minutes. You can save the outfit and keep reapplying if you guys would like that as well. So step one, all you want to do is go and appear online. So wherever this is for you, just go head to that page and make sure your online status is online. If you're appearing offline, you won't get this to work. After this, you just want to go and we're going to go and create a simple, simple playlist. So to do that, you want to go down to online playlists, create playlists. We're going to go head over to add race. And now we're just going to go and create the fastest land race, which is this one right here. When we'll go to it, 
criminal record so you just want to go and select that one it's three times rp and three times money until thursday so if you guys want to make some cash doing this as well it works after you just add that one race that's all you need you just want to go and click save playlist and after you go and click the save playlist you're gonna get this message right here after you go and do this all you want to do is go and start that playlist up so head to my playlist i named it jays since we're getting joggers and you just want to go and start it again the only mission that we're doing is criminal enterprise and it takes around 30 seconds to do so once you're in you want to do this part completely solo so all you want to do is go and ready up if there's other people in the job which there won't be since it's a playlist but like if you invite your friends it won't end up working so just do it alone you want to go and put number of laughs over to one and then you just want to go confirm settings and then click play it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to do this job on your own of course yes you want to accept that then it's gonna put you in it does not matter what car you choose just choose whatever one that you want to drive in of course the faster one the better ew what is that car when did i customize that thing okay which one should we go with boys gotta go with the wagner if you guys want to see the top 10 cars of 2020 that i decided to choose go click the tag top right it's a ba it's a banger video i love that video once you get into the race all we're gonna go and do is drive and do it basically just complete it all you gotta do is drive around the prison one time if you set the number of laps to one and you just want to go do that and i'll cut back to you guys once this is done So we just finished the race right now and it's going to go and give us a few things like we're going to shush the crowd and all that but it doesn't again look less than 30 seconds of time you only get 2,000 out of this but it's not the main thing that we need to do we ain't here for money we're here for some colored joggies the main ones we'll be getting are pink and green and then there's also orange and purple if you're interested in that as well you'll get this thing right here and all we could do now is just go and continue and make sure you don't like replay just get out of the screen as soon as you can it's gonna go your guys gonna go and say you won the whole playlist and whatever so you're gonna shush the crowd again once this continue page is done you'll get some more rp for winning the playlist there you go it says you're the winner it'll say your username and whatever Comment what videos you guys want to see next down below right now as we're waiting to get to the next step. Also, subscribe while you're down there. You made it to four minutes already in the video. It's pretty quick, four minutes. You may as well subscribe. Okay, so once we get in, we just want to go and check our activities. So once you load back in, move around for two, three seconds, and go to your home page and go to activities on this screen right here. Once you get to this screen, it should say you played a playlist of jobs. After you go and do that, you want to go click play jobs rockstar created we're gonna go head down to adversary modes and you want to go and start the adversary mode called collection time number three so collection time three right here go and start it up it's going to take you in from here you do need to invite three other people if you want the pink and green joggers and make sure you set the number of teams over to four and then you want to go down to first to win one round and then you want to go and just confirm the settings once again you need at least three to four people if you're on team four you get green team three you get pink team two you get orange team one you get purple and then oh you also get colored bulletproof helmets i forgot to mention in this as well once you're in what you want to do is you want to let your friends or the randoms you just want to win the round so just go take all their bags or complete what it is i don't even know what this job is you just got to go take your friend out and go and collect their stuff after this you just got to wait until you win the job once you went and completed the job make sure no one kills you if you're doing this with random people it could still work you just need to like make sure you win so you'll get this message saying that you won and whatever after this you're gonna get this screen where when you get here make sure replay wins you don't click anything but your friends gotta click replay and then you want to go double tap and click join playlist as soon as you get off the replay screen it needs to be really quick that part then right when you go and join playlist, it's going to load you back into online. That was a bit confusing, so I'm going to go and add that clip back and then explain it one more time. So when you're on this screen, you want your friends to click replay and replay needs to win. As soon as it heads into the clouds, you're just going to go and head up and double type your PlayStation button, which should take you to join playlist. 
when then all you want to do is click join place as soon as you can it's going to go and glitch out and it's going to take you back into online once you're back here you'll notice you're invisible so all you want to do from here is go and set the criminal enterprise starter pack this is when you'll be on to an online session after you went and joined the playlist you want to go and go to this whip right here you want to go and click it then you want to go click the home button then you want to go and click legendary motorsport once again sort by price get a free car the LG works best and go put it in an open garage after you went and done that just go and click off everything and make sure you get back and you'll notice look what you're wearing right there last steps before you can edit the outfit you just want to go over to style we're going to go down to accessories and you want to go and flick one to the left to put an earpiece on make sure you don't go to the right it's going to make your helmet go off so if you want to keep the color bulletproof helmet go one to the left now all that part needs to be quick because we're just going to go and wait for it to send us into the clouds which will take five to ten seconds you don't gotta click anything there, you have nothing on your menus or anything like that. So just wait for it to send you into the clouds. After it sends you into the clouds, it's actually just gonna load you into wherever you were last, so your apartment, your casino, whatever it is. And all you wanna do is go save and edit the outfit to your liking. There you go, that's how you get the green, pink, purple, and orange joggers with a new way that I have never showed. You get edit, edit the shoes, you get the helmet, you can take that top off and make it whatever way that you want. Like I said, you can do any customization that you want. You get the bulletproof helmet as well, as you guys can see right there. You can take the top off and have custom ankles and the green joggers. Of course, you get the pink and other ones as well. Now we're going to get into the ripped shirt component. Don't worry for this one, you don't lose all your outfits. So if you just want to do this and don't even need to do the pants, then this is fine. So you want to do is go and purchase any white t-shirt. It doesn't matter which one. For the actual ripped shirt, it works with any color. But if we're following the outfit tutorial that I'm doing right now, you just want to go and buy a plain white tee, but it doesn't matter what's on it. After this, you just want to go head back to Utility Vest, which is the second last one. And we're going to go and buy this one that's on screen right now. It's called the Peach Plate Carrier. So you're going to want your outfit to be looking like this, with the pants on. And then all you got to do is go take off all masks and stuff like that. So your outfit will look similar to mine right now. You'll have those shoes on, you'll have the pants on, and you will have the white shirt and this vest. Then you want to go and save this in slot number one. It needs to be in slot number one. And then you want to go and buy any one of these outfits. Now we're going to do a telescope glitch. So run by a telescope at the beach, spamming right in the d-pad. Hold, go to outfit, and go and switch on to number one, which will be the rip shirt. Now you notice when you walk away, it merges all together. After that, just head down the street over to the mask store. And from here, we're just going to overwrite the slot once again. I gotta stress this, it needs to be in slot number one because you are gonna need to access it later. Don't worry, you don't lose all your outfits. After you go and do this, you just gotta go to online and we're gonna go and start the mission and call Titan of a Job. So at the Rockstar created, we're gonna go right down to missions and it should be the first one on Titan of a Job. Go and launch that up. You wanna do this alone, you gotta make sure no one else is in your session. Make sure it's just you and you'll go and spawn in your last location that you just were at. It won't let you access the master for whatever reason, so you gotta go and head to the nearest ammunition. So I'll see you guys when you're there. Alright, so we just pulled up the ammunition, and once again, all we gotta do is overwrite the slot. So just go and resave over your original rip shirt. You'll notice the plate carrier is gone. That's all good. It's all a part of the glitch. It's all working. From here, leave through your phone, and it's gonna take you back onto online. You'll spawn across the street, so just go and run back in. There's only a few more steps. It's pretty much very easy from now on just go to standard outfits and buy the effortless which is number three then you just want to go and take off the glasses after you went and done that you just want to go head over to top so we're going to go ahead to the bottom and then we're going to go up the vests you want to go and buy this black vest which is 35 out of 37. it works with most vests but i recommend doing the black one after you do that you want to go to vest shirts and you want to go and buy whatever color you want of these but following the outfit tutorial, we will be going with red since we're trying to get a red and white rip shirt. But again, it works with anyone if you want to go mix and match. After you are wearing this, you just want to go and start the versus mission called Crooked Cop once again for the second and final time of the video. Again, put it on player owned. It starts on classic. You got to make sure you switch that and invite a random person. They don't need to do anything but be in the job. After you went and done that, all we gotta do is launch a session. Now we're gonna go right back down to own outfit, and just like last time, go one to the right. Since it's in slot number one, it's gonna be the first outfit. That's why it's necessary. After you do that, you just wanna ready up and leave a like on the video, and also subscribe that you're still watching. Kept your attention for this song. I didn't say once this whole video. You must be enjoying something. Please help out. Once you get in, just throw in an earpiece. We're doing the same steps, and leave through your phone. 
Again, it could be with random people since they don't have any effect on it. You could do this in legit less than 10 seconds. Once you get in, you'll probably spawn in one of two locations. You want to go and run down the street back to the ammunition, and you already got this outfit. Rectumum being patched, it's pretty much impossible to get white, and it's probably patched for good now, to be completely honest. Everyone's been trying to find a workaround for months, and so far, nothing. So we gotta go and do it with the cargo joggers. So this outfit requires the white joggers. I'm hoping you guys have them, because you, you know you guys aren't able to get them anymore. It's pretty well known. I will be showing you guys an alternate way. Some of you guys won't be happy about that, but there's... That's not my fault. Like I can't do anything about that. I just need to show everyone. If you guys have the OG white joggers, use those, or else just follow this. I'll be showing you guys how to get the cargo ones. They're pretty much exactly the same. They're just a little bit skinnier, and they low key look better on this outfit anyway. We will be going through with a transfer glitch. So you want to do is swap character. You do lose all your outfits, but one that you are wearing. So make sure you're okay with that. You do need your male character in slot number one, and you want to go and create a new female in slot number two. It, the mail does need to be in slot number one or it will not work. Uh, it just needs to be said. And I can't stress this enough. Do not do this if you don't want to lose your outfits. I have many other videos where you keep them all. Pretty much every other video on my channel. So you can just go and check out any of those. But if you want to keep going with the outfit tutorial, you just want to go create a female character and skip to online. And once you get in with your female, just head to the nearest clothes store. And you want to follow these steps on screen. So what you want to do is go and buy these spotted muscle pants, number 1 out of 54, under sports pants. Then we're going to go and head over to the shoes. We're going to go and head over to boots. And we're going to go head down until we find these red ones that are on the screen right now. So we're just going to go and scroll up. And they are called number 47 out of 94, the Crimson Cowboy Boots. After you buy these two, you just want to go and head over to the tops. This time we're going to go and head down to work jackets. And we're going to go buy number 9, which is going to be the peach one which is going to be right here after we buy number nine we're going to go and head down to gun running and we're going to go and get 60 out of 60. what we're doing here this is going to give us all the components so we're able to get the white cargo in joggers with invisible ankles still later on then we're going to go over to the gloves and buy number 12 which is going to be the woodland tactical they're using all transfer merges make sure you have no glasses earrings or anything on i might mess it up then all you want to do is go and save this in slot number two after this go and take the easy way out once you take the easy belt, you spawn outside, launch creator, and now we're going to be doing the basic race. So go and create a land race, put it over to two players, put the route type to point to point. From there, you can put on uh, sports cars, it doesn't matter. Go and create your race. Just follow what it's telling you to do on screen. Then you're just going to go and test the race after that. You'll get that message. After you do this, you want to go ahead to online. You just want to go and choose character. I'm going really quick, so if you guys want to see more detailed, click the tag up right, and you guys can go watch that video. Once you get back onto the screen, all we want to do is delete the female character, which is in slot number two. Make sure you're deleting the wrong one. It's going to put you on character number one. Make sure you switch and then delete. Well, after you delete, it's going to take you right back to this screen. As soon as you can, click B or circle, and it'll take you into story mode. Alright, so once you're in story mode, all you want to do is play GT Online, and you want to go and start an invite-only session. It could be a public lobby as well. It just helps you not die, and it's going to go and launch you in there. Once you get in, you'll be wearing your OG outfit that you had from before. So whatever the one that you want to keep, all you want to do is go and save that in the last slot. Make sure you save it in 20 out of 20. Just anywhere near the bottom. Make sure it's far away from the top. After you're done saving, what you want to do is go down and leave a like on the video. You've been watching for this long, I kept your attention. You might as well just go leave a quick little like. Then you want to go and head over and put on any cargo pants. Of course, we'll be doing with the white ones, but you can put any color if you want that instead. Then we're going to go ahead to rubberized boots number 13 out of 14 and put on any one. This going to allow us to get invisible ankles. After this, you want to go and save the outfit in slot number one. And then you just want to go, after you save it, go and start Crooked Cop. Then you want to go to clothing and go on to player owned. I, once again, I'm going very quick in this, so if you guys want to see more in detail, I'll post a whole video on it. That's why I'm trying to go quick. Then go invite a random person, it doesn't need to be your friend, and go one to the right. And then let's go on to your new saved outfit that is in slot number one. Then it's going to put you into the session once your friend or the random readies up. They don't need to do anything, just walk around for about two seconds. You know you got the white joggers on with the invisible ankles. You also get a gun belt as well. All you want to do is put an earpiece on and then go and leave through your phone. If you don't have an earpiece, just go to the ammo nation and purchase one. After this, you just want to go and you are done with this part. 
I really appreciate you guys watching the full video. If you guys made it to the end, you must have been love something to make it this far. It's like 13 minutes. So please subscribe. It helps out way more than you guys think. It's completely free. Also, you guys, if you like this one, you would definitely like one of these other videos on screen right now. Just go and click any one of them and have an amazing day. See ya. All right, so we'll start with the jobs. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go to online. We're gonna head over to jobs. We're gonna go to play job. Rockstar created. We're gonna go and head down to versus missions and start crooked cop. This is an OG glitch. It's made the channel and it got. It really did a lot for the channel. So it, it's only right to start with this. You could host or join someone else. If you're player one, you will get the purple joggers. If you're on team two, you will get the orange ones. And if you like player three on a team, you will get the black ones. From here, you gotta make sure you put clothing onto themed. If it it starts on classic and you could put it to player owned, but for this glitch, you need to make sure it's on themed or it will not work. Then confirm the settings and go and invite people. From here, all you do need is one friend. Unless you want the black ones, you're gonna need a few more. But I'll show you how to get the black jars later on in the glitch. It's technically not solo, but more people join this job than pretty much any other one to ever exist. I don't know why. Probably because there's a lot of glitches. Once you get in with at least one friend, you want to go and go find insects on versus outfits. Here you'll notice you got a big bug mask and your character is wearing the joggers. You won't have a duffel bag on, it's just because the original outfit I had on had it. So you'll just have nothing there. From here, just go ready up and start the play. Again, player one is going to get purple and player two will get orange. There's a bit of time in this glitch, but it's overall pretty easy because you're just staying AFK. And I said this before, it is one of my favorite glitches to ever exist. So we're just going to load in right now and wait for it to start up. Alright, so I'm going to put this part all in time to speed just to make it a bit quicker. But right when you hop in, this is where the timing gets evolved. So you take a few steps forward and head down to style, go to illuminate clothing. Scroll through this from a good 5 to 10 seconds. Then head up to player mood and you want to go through this from like a minute to two minutes. The longer the better. Trust me if it's too short you won't end up getting kicked at the end. So a lot of you guys like to rush and you only do like 30 seconds. Trust me it won't work. So again this is a bit fast forwarded so this is in time to speed. But as you guys can see we're just flying through them right now. Make sure you put like a little timer and at least do it for a minute. Or unless you see a little loading thing in the bottom right corner then you guys will be fine. But that doesn't always show so don't really rely on that. So again, we're just going through right now. Perfect time for you guys to be going down subscribing. Also like the video if you're enjoying it so far. It's only three minutes in of a long ass video, but we will see. So again, we're just scrolling through, scrolling through. After you scroll through for like a minute or two, all you want to do is just pull your controller down. Make sure you do not touch it. This is now an eight times speed, just because now we're going to wait for it to get us kicked. So controller down, don't touch it at all, or it'll mess the whole thing up and wait for us to get kicked. So it takes about three to four minutes at the one minute mark you get this little message after that just again make sure your controller is still down it takes on average three minutes if you're not getting kicked it's probably because you didn't scroll through long enough another option is to open netflix and then it'll allow you to get kicked because it'll suspend the application but i'm pretty sure that's only on ps4 once you get kicked accept the message and it's going to take you back into gta online once you're loaded to online, you're going to have that exact outfit and you're going to spawn on the side of the street if you have last location on. From there, you can just run and edit the outfit to the width that you like. There are a few important things you got to take off. Like if you leave the bug mask on, the next time you join a new session, your whole outfit will just disappear. So make sure you take that bug off and just go you edit this outfit a bit and then you can go save it. And make sure you don't save it like joggers or something because they may delete it. They most likely won't, but sometimes they just go through and delete all like modded outfits. So again, from here, just go, you edit the shoes, you got purple joggers, invisible ankles, you go edit to the toss of your liking. Again, make sure you do get the bug mask off and let's get into the next glitch. Alright, so this is going to be colored helmets. I'm just going to show you guys one variation. I posted a full video on it, so you guys go check that out right now for all the other colors. I'm just going to show you guys this one way. So we want to go and head to a clothes store. After this, we're going to go head down to helmets. From here, you want to go and scroll down and buy these four helmets that I'll show you guys right now. Cobble, Cubist, Digital, and one more, the one under this, are the four most important helmets for this glitch. Each of them gives you a different color and a different style. So, Death, Cobble, Cubist, Digital. Make sure you buy all four of those. 
Then you can just go down and go buy any of these combat helmets with the four quad lens. And this is all going to give you a different color. You can buy it. There's a few different options. Again, for all the options, go and check out the tag on this video right now. Uh, so I'll be doing with the black quad lens is like the best option to do with. Or you could do with these cream shield riots right here. Any of the riot helmets work as well. LSPD riot or cream shield are the two to do it with. So I don't know if that really made sense because I tried to... Oh, come on, man. Alright, so we're in a new session now. And well, from here, you want to register as a CEO. After this, just make sure you have helmet visor on down. Then you want to have these exact settings that I'll have. So bike helmet, change it over to one of those four that I showed you guys before. I'll be doing it with the cubist. After this, just keep going down and make sure you have auto show bike helmet on. From here, again, you're registered as a CEO already. Then you're going to hop into a car. Stay on the interaction menu as you hop in the car. Make sure the bike helmet doesn't change. Head up to your CEO, head down to manage it, go to style, one to the right, one back to the left. Now hop out the car and pop the visor up and you're going to get a new style of this helmet. With the other bulletproofs, it goes and switches colors. For example, it's green, purple, pink, and orange, I'm pretty sure. That's another glitch down. Let's get into the next one. Since the telescope glitch is going to be used multiple times in this video, I just want to show it real quick before we use it. So what you want to do is go and take off all your masks and go and put on any mask you would like to merge with either glasses or a helmet. Most of the ski masks do work, but like if you have like a pig mask, that won't work. Then just run by the telescope, spamming right on the D-pad. From here, just hold the touchpad, head down to style, head down to accessories. And then from here, you can just go and put on any helmet that you like to merge. You can put on some glasses. You can put on a few different things work, like a rebreather. Then you, all you gotta do is walk away. And once you walk away, you'll notice that they merge together. I just want to show that real quick because it will be used later on. From here, this is going to be the next glitch. This is going to be the how to get Tron pants. I tried to avoid most of the glitches like this, but this one's just this one's a classic. You had to get this in. So whatever Tron pants you like the color of, just go and click those. After this, go and save this outfit and, and name it Tron pants because we're going to need to overwrite that slot later on in the glitch. From here, you want to go and buy any bodysuit. If you guys have the free Christmas one, that works as well, but I'll just be using this one. Then you just want to go and head over to an apartment or the telescope glitch that I just showed you guys right now. From here, we're just going to go and run up to the telescope. The telescopes are in any apartment. They're also in anywhere on the beach. Just run by, spam right in the D-pad. Then hold the touchpad, go to style, go to outfit, put it on the Tron. The walk away, you'll notice that it kind of merges like at the neck. That's you know it's working. From here, all you want to do is kind of head down into the closet area. This is going to allow us to edit the top off, and if you want, you can take the mask off. Most people leave it on, just because it's pretty modded in itself. From here, just head over to tops, and you, the only tops that work are these special tops. There's also a hoodie that is in special, so you guys might have that. And it's the first three. So, as you guys see, normal tops just take it away. If you guys don't have these, they're from playing casino games. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 50% sure that that's true. But there you go, that's you get Tron pants, let's get to the next one. Alright, we're going to do the second joggers glitch of the video. It's going to be black and red. Request an MOC. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, but these are the more OG glitches as we're doing the best glitches to ever exist. This got to be up there as one of the best. Head into the back of the MOC. You do need a friend for this as well. And this one can't just be randoms because they kind of will mess it up. So it kind of does need to be a friend. But don't worry, they do get red joggers out of it, so it's kind of worth it. Head over to this big screen. You're going to need to register as CEO, Motorcycle Club, or VIP. So just go do that as quick as possible. Just so it doesn't tell you that message after. From here, just go and access the MOC. Click Login. And we got to go and start the last mission called Work Dispute. So it's right here. Some of you guys might have it locked. You got to do 14 bunker missions or play the two missions in front of it. So Data Breach and Mole Hunt. If you play those, you should unlock it as well. Especially Data Breach. If you just have Data Breach like unlocked and Work Disputes locked, just play Data Breach and start up Work Dispute after. Once you launch Work Dispute, go and invite some friends. Leave in the comments if you guys want to do it together. Because most of the time when I post something like this, all you guys end up doing it together anyway and it ends up working out. From here, make sure you put difficulty on easy so two people can get it. Then purchase armor if you like, it doesn't make a difference. Go and invite your friend and wait for them to join and then you just gotta ready up and play the job. So I'll just be inviting my boy over here. And after this, I haven't said it, I haven't said like, it's been the 10 minute mark now. 
smash the like button if you haven't already, because why not? It's completely free. It's pointless not to, you know what I'm saying? It just helps me out. Also, comment modern joggers if you see this. I'm going to put two of these hidden messages throughout the video, so we'll see what's going on. From here, all we want to do is jump into this plane right here, and what we got to do is head to our apartment. So, there's no icons on the map, so if you don't know where your apartment is, take a picture on your phone before and then just fly over there. I'm sorry about the high saturation of this clip, I'm not sure why that happened, and I cannot change it. It makes it look all grainy when I try to take it off. From here, we're just going to go fly over to the apartment. Your friend needs to be going with you, or you can be going to his. You just want to park it, you want to go head into this blue dot in front of the apartment. You notice you're not able to go in, so instead, we gotta go and throw a grenade and blow ourselves up. After you blow yourself up, you're now allowed access. Don't know why that's a thing, but don't blow up the oppressors as well, because you only have four vehicle respawns, it might just mess everything up. Then go ahead into the apartment, and all you wanna do is save this outfit. You don't need to edit it or anything in any way, just go and save the exact outfit that you got on. If you're like, you get modded body armor if you're on like, later on the glitch three or four you have like the CEO vest so if you guys want that just make sure you go and save that as well and just be later on the glitch from here you could go you can edit the outfit to any way that you want so I'm just gonna go on black joggers and I'll show you guys me editing it but that's pretty much it for this glitch as well and let's get into the next one if you get any of these glitches make sure you do like the video and subscribe it's an even trade you guys get a GTA glitch I guess subscription I think that's fair all right let's get to the next one be showing you guys how to get little armor pockets on any outfit that you want and any t-shirt so I'm gonna be going really quickly so the first thing you guys want to do is head to any ammunition or any clothes store so we could go and put one of these outfits on if you guys can I would be much appreciated if you guys could subscribe to the channel as well as leave a like on the video it helps me out so much and we're getting so close to 100,000 subs so if you guys could subscribe it will help out a lot what you want to do is go to head to the new heist outfits and you want to go and buy this one any one of these works you will get the pockets from that outfit it does work best with the green one that I'll be using but you guys could try it with any one of these and it should work after you go and do this you just want to go and take off the hat or any accessories that are on your face so let's go remove that and then you just want to go and save this into an outfit slot I seen a bunch of other people say you gotta save an outfit slot number one, but don't worry, you can save this in any slot that you want, it does not matter. You will keep all your outfits, you don't lose any, don't worry. And this is for the male character, I'm not sure if it works on female, I just gotta say that. After you went and saved it, all you wanna do is go and put on one of these hazmat hazard suits, so heist coveralls, it doesn't matter which color, just put on any one. And then we're gonna go and head to the nearest telescope, so I'm just gonna go to the ones on the beach, but you could go to your apartment and it works the exact same, I'll see you guys once we're there. Once we're here, all we gotta do is the telescope glitch. This glitch is very simple to do. All we wanna do is run by and spam right on the D-pad. So just run by the telescope, spamming right on the D-pad a bunch of times. Your character will glitch out like this. You don't actually look in. Then head to style and you wanna go and put on that outfit that you just saved. I named it top, but it's gonna be this one with the armor. Then all you wanna do is walk away and you'll notice this mask comes onto your face like that. From here, we gotta go and head to a clothes store. Just so we could go and save it again, since it won't let you save it at the beach. We could I'll also go and head to that mask store that's right there. So after you go and save it like this, just go to style and go to the exact outfit and spam X. So spam like you're putting it on you, your screen will kind of glitch out a bit. You just gotta spam it a bunch of times to make sure it's saved. After you go and do that, you're gonna go and start to tighten up the job. You will be looking like this. So this is how your outfit should be looking. You got this mask on, you and then you have the armor plate with that green or whatever outfit you decide to choose. After this, we're gonna go and start the mission, the first one called the tighten up the job. Don't worry, it's completely solo. You don't need any friends in this. You just wanna go and start it alone. With that being said, if there are another person in this, just make sure you leave and do it alone. You don't want to do it with anyone else. Just confirm settings, there's nothing special you got to put on, and then click play and wait for it to load you in. I'm trying to make as little cuts as possible for you guys, so I will fast forward this part. Once you get in, all you want to do is walk around for a good few seconds. It, you might spawn the clothes store, it doesn't matter, you can't access anything. So what you got to do is you actually could go to the ammunition and lets you go inside. So you just want to go in here and we're going to go and overrate this slot and save it. So you just want to go and head down to the bottom or whatever outfit you saved it as and overwrite that slot. 
Once you do that, you're done in this mission. You can just go and leave through your phone. Once you get in, your outfit will be looking like this. So it's kind of glitched out and that body armor you had on before is gone. So all you want to do now is head over to tops and literally any top that you select, you will go and have these pockets on. Like a, it's just a little fun little glitch to do. It's nothing special. So this is going to be how to put the alien suit alone or just to have that space ranger mask on at once. So go and make sure you have an outfit that you want the Space Ranger helmet on saved or that you want the bodysuit on saved. From here you just want to go and put on your Republican Space Ranger. And then after this you just want to go and save this as an outfit. Make sure you do remember the name. This one is a very very easy glitch that all you guys will be able to do. And a lot of you guys do ask me how I got the mask on a few of my older outfits. And this is how you do it. So from here we're just going to go and head down to where the beach is right at the pier and you'll notice where the telescopes are. From here you just want to go and put on any outfit that you want, the bodysuit. I'll show you guys both ways. And then you want to run by the telescope spinning right on the d-pad, your character will glitch out, hold the touchpad, go down to style and now go and select that Space Ranger outfit. After you select the Space Ranger outfit, all you want to do is walk away and you'll notice then you just get the suit without the mask. Now if you just want the mask without the suit, you do the same thing just in reverse. So you start with the Space Ranger, which I'll show you guys right now, and then you go and put on the outfit. So we'll do that right now. So we're just going to go and reapply the outfit. Alright, so we got mask on. Now we're going to run by, holding the touchpad right now after you spam around the d-pad. Now we're going to go down to style. From here we're just going to go and put on any random outfit. I'm just going to put on this paramedic one. And then you'll notice when we walk away, we got that Space Ranger fit. Just the helmet, and you can make some sick modded outfits with it. It's gonna be how to get a half mask without the hat or anything on. So to start, you want to go down to Diamond Casino Heist, and then you want to go and buy any of the half gators that you want. Of course, there are hats on, so this is where we're gonna be removing the hat and just get the mask. So go get whatever one you want. After this, we're just gonna go and head over to hats, and you want to go down to biker helmets. Once you go to biker helmets, you want to go and buy any of these style, so near the bottom, pretty much from 20 to 30. I'm going to go with this black one right here. Once you buy it, it already looks kind of sick, but we're going to be taking it off. So you just want to go and head down to the pier, because we're going to need to go on that little dock with the jet skis. So we're just going to quickly fly over there. And once you're there, it's very, very easy. We're just going to go on to the jet ski and drive onto land, and you'll notice that we have the half gator forever now. So we're just going to quickly, quickly go over here. This is one of my favorite glitches, it's super easy, and I think the half gators are pretty cool when they're just alone. From here we're going to go head into the water, you want to jump on top of this dock, then you're just going to head onto any of the jet skis. After this all we got to do is drive it onto the beach. You don't need to go far, I was just trying to see how far I could make. But you can just go right onto the uh, shore or whatever. After this just hop off the whip, and you'll notice you got that half gator. Save the outfit, and that's another one down. For the next one, it's going to be how to get Gorka Pants. This one I did show before, but I thought I'll bring it back because I showed it in another top 5 and it's near the end and a lot of you guys probably didn't even see it. So go and select whatever Gorka Elfie you want the pants of. So I'm just going to go with this camel one right here. From here, you just want to go and head over to your apartment. This could be anywhere. You could even do this step in a clothes store. Just it's easier to do in an apartment. So I'll see you guys once you're there. Alright, so we just pulled up to the apartment, yo. We're gonna go and head down to our closet, and all we gotta do from here is put on a certain shirt, and we'll have the Gorka pants. So we're just gonna go access the closet. You will notice normally you're not able to edit this outfit in any way. So if we just want the pants, we don't want the shoes, and we don't want the top. As you guys can see, I'm putting biker jackets, it won't work. It just goes back to a standard outfit. So what we're gonna go do, go down to special tops, and then any of these three work. A lot of you guys won't have them, and some people say you get them from doing the arcade. I've never owned an arcade, and I've never even used one, so it's not from that. I'm pretty sure you get them from the casino games, would be my guess, but that's not 100%. As you guys can see, you could change the shoes and whatever. The next two are very simple. It's going to be based around the flight suit. So you want to go down and buy the flight suit of your choice. Any of them work. They're pretty much all the same. One of those is going to be for the tube, the other one's going to be for the mask. So for the flight like mask, we're going to go and head over to the telescopes. We're going to go and run by the telescope doing the telescope glitch, spamming right on the d-pad. From here we're going to go and hold the touchpad, go down to style, head over to accessories, and go and put on any outfit that you want to save. 
So whatever alpha you'd like this mask on, there's no way of getting this mask in the game unless you do this. And then just walk away, there you go, you got the flight mask. You can make some sick modded outfits with this, it's it's okay. Now we're going to go and head over to how to do the flight tube. So I'll see you guys once we're at the shoe store. Alright, so we just pulled up at the shoe store on the map, YouTube. This is a complete shoe store, nothing else. They don't sell anything here. We're gonna walk in, head over to the ATM. So you're not gonna look at the nice shoes today because that won't be good. Go and switch the outfit onto the one that you want the flight to. It doesn't matter which one, I'll just be going with this white jersey. Then you just wanna walk out and as soon as you leave, you'll notice you got the flight tube on your character. Go and save this outfit. And that's a quick fire two glitches down right there. And now let's get into the next one. You can't have any best clothing glitches without a jogger's glitch, so why not? Since we're on the topic of easiest, we're going to show the easiest jogger glitch in the game. So you're going to go to that location I just showed you guys right there. Make sure you have spawn location on to last location. From here we're just going to go and go to hide options and head to jobs and make sure it's on custom. This will allow you to go and see this blue thing which goes right in front of you. It only works at this closed door because this is the only, this is the closest job to a closed door in the game. From here you just want to go and register as the CEO because you do need a CEO outfit. This is only for the tan joggers, which are the least rare, but they're the easiest joggers to get in the game. Once you register as CEO, you just want to go down to management, then go down to style. From here, you want to go and find the outfit called Warlord. There are an outfit with the black joggers as well, but you're not able to edit the shoes, so you won't get invisible ankles, so it's pointless. If you guys do want to see how to get black joggers, I'll put a tag up for that one as well. After you've done all the steps that I've done right here, you just want to go and head into this little blue job right here and start it up. This is again completely solo. It is one of the only solo joggers glitches again following the theme of this video. You do want to start on your own so if there's other people in the job just quickly leave and restart because if other people are in it they're gonna mess it up. From here all you want to do is make sure you do switch to which the starting bike is and then go to custom suit and just flick one to the right and one to the left and then ready up. From here, you just want to go and quit. Once you get on the screen, click circle, and then you'll get the option to quit. Or if you're on Xbox, click B, and you get the option to quit. After this, we're going to load back in, and this is where the glitch kind of gets serious. we got to quickly, quickly run into the closed store that's beside us and access any t-shirt rack. As quick as we can. If we take too long, it won't work. So we got to quickly sprint in there. So I'll see you guys once we're in there. All right, so we're about to load in. There's no time to waste. Right here, you'll be wearing your normal outfit. You want to quickly run in and go and access this t-shirt rack. Now, all we got to do is wait for it to kick us off. This could take from anywhere from like 0 0.01 seconds to a minute. So you just want to sit here. Don't touch your controller. Just put it down and wait for it to kick you off. So it kicked me off about five seconds later. And now we have the Warlord outfit on to GTA Online free mode. And you're still not able to edit it. So what you want to do is go and retire from your CEO. Once you retire, you notice you're able to edit the shoes and you're able to edit the top and you pretty much have tan or brown joggers for life now. Go save the outfit once you're done and once you're happy with it and that's another glitch down. So far, let me know what you guys thought was your favorite out of the ones that we did so far and now let's get into the next one. So quick disclaimer, I'm probably going to need to put this on all my videos, but for Rockstar Take 2 or anyone watching this, what I'm posting in this video and on every video that I'm going to be posting on the channel does not go against anything on your copyright system. Found on your page, this article right here, I went through Rockstar support, I've emailed you guys multiple times to multiple different emails, I've never got a response, it's been a few weeks now, so I'm just going to go, I'm pretty sure what I'm posting is completely allowed. If it isn't though, please, please do not give me a strike and email the email that is on screen right now and I will go and personally delete that video as soon as I can. If you guys give me a strike, my whole channel is going to be deleted for no reason. It doesn't go against your terms of service. Last thing this is for educational reasons only. I don't condone doing glitches. You may get banned. Let's get into it. 